What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Laner Economics, and we are going to take a look at week one of our stock market challenge. So the first week, you get an opportunity to choose your four stocks, choose the opening price per share, and find the value of your initial investment in these four stocks. Now that one week has gone by, you're going to go through and check the new updated price for each stock. So the first one I have on my list is going to be the McDonald's. So when I go to check my stock price, I'm going to go to the opening price. So I can see right now that it's down on today, but I'm going to go to the opening price this morning, which was 209.49. When I go back into my chart, I'm going to type in 209.49. And when I type that in, it's automatically going to generate the value of investment for me, and it's going to update my numbers here on the side. Let me go to my Walt Disney next. I look at Walt Disney stock. I can see that it's going up today, which is a good sign, but I'm going to use that opening price right here, which was 156.29. So 156.29. I add that in. Again, once I click through, it's going to automatically update my value of investment. I've done Toyota already. I've done Under Armour already. And I could take a look at the prices. Once I have taken a look at each one of these prices, it's going to automatically calculate this week's total portfolio value and my net gain or loss. Right now, looking at my net gain or loss, I have gained $205.41 in just the first week. If I would have lost money, you would, you would see a negative sign in front of this dollar sign telling you that you lost money. You can also then compare some of the numbers in your charts. So I look at McDonald's. I bought it at 218.88. Uh, it's now worth 209.49. So I could tell right there, then and there, I have lost money on my McDonald's stock in just the first week. This could change next week. It might be a totally different number. Uh, and that's where some of the unpredictability of the stock market kind of comes in. So I look at the first stock. I know I lost money on McDonald's. I can also look at my value investment. You know, I initially put this much money into McDonald's. This is what it's currently worth right here. Walt Disney then, I bought it at 149.57. It's worth 156.29. I can see that I've made money on that stock. And I can again, look, I spent this amount of money when I first bought the stock. This is what this is worth at this point. So that's a good sign I made money on that stock. Toyota was 135.60. It's now 140.94. I can look and see, but just by looking at those two prices that it's increased. And I know that I've made money on that stock, which is another great sign. I can also compare the value of the investment. And lastly, Under Armour, uh, it's increased slightly from 1678 to 1744. Again, making a slight profit uh, of looks about $98 on that stock. So once you put the numbers in, you have that opportunity to kind of look at the data, to kind of analyze it, and then maybe make some prediction of, of what you think might happen the following week. Uh, obviously, your goal is to try to make money. Uh, and as I looked on here, uh, even though McDonald's had a $9 loss here, uh, between the two, or about a $9 loss there. Uh, my other three stocks made up for it. And overall, I ended up being you know, up $205.41. And this is where we talk about um, diversifying your portfolio, having multiple options, having different types of companies, so that if one of your stocks does lose, hopefully the other uh, stocks that you have can offset it. When we take a look at our class project, you'll see Putting all of our eggs in one basket is very high risk, very high reward. Um, if your stock makes money, that's great. But if your stock loses money, um, obviously, that's going to be a negative for your stock portfolio. So this is week one. Hopefully, you've made money with your stocks in the first week. Uh, after another week goes by, we will check in again on these stocks to see how these stocks are doing.